Hello, I'd like to welcome one welcome back to the Oh god! You gotta get used to this kind of sensitivity. Duke Nukem's a lot more accelerated, like it's not this whoosh! But in Duke Nukem, the whooshiness feels a little bit annoying because it's a little slower paced. Uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what to fill up my next slot with yet. Because I always typically play, play about three games at the same time, and Duke Nukem is not going to last much longer. He's running out of official Steam released kit pretty fast, and, uh, yeah. Look at that. Well, it says I can jump. Might as well be a cheating little asshole. Yeah, you can't make it out of here. I don't know. I think this moves up after you pull the button, so... Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just missing Heretic. I'm gonna miss this. Like, Heretic's also not gonna last much longer. There's the bonus episode where I go in on the cheats and all that stuff, but... Yeah, there, there isn't much left. I have to find three new games to play. Now, if I have to be 100% honest, um, I'm actually already looking at a LEGO game, but even that LEGO game will only last me a while. Actually, you've got to do LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, which is a pretty long game, all elements considered into consideration. How do we get out of here? How do you get out of here? Oh, this lowers this back down. Neato, Fatito. I thought you were supposed to take that secret, but apparently not. Um. <coughs> so yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, I am looking for a PS1 emulator to play Spyro. Um, my experiences with Spyro are entirely limited to the Legend of the uh, series. I never did Eternal Night, though. Only Dawn of the Dragon and then the first one in Legend Begins or New Beginning, whichever one it is. But I'm interested in seeing the old ones, which apparently collect a thons and I kind of like collect a -thons. On top of that, if you're willing to help... Oh, God. Oh, there's a spawner around here. That's pretty nice. So, yeah, I'm looking... No, actually, I have several emulator games. It just never came around to continuing them proper. Now, another thing I like about the crossbow over the other weapon. What am I over the uh, Hellstaff? Is that the Hellstaff's bullets are kind of slow. They feel slower, at least. In the side by side, they may not actually be slower. Oh god, there's spawners everywhere. This is risky business, I'll tell you that much. Putting my life on the line to clean up. Guess we're gonna have to go this way. So you got a nice light weapon, so we can clean up these guys for these. So yeah, I have a lot of slots opening up, so if anyone has anything to push in there, go ahead. Else, uh, let's let's actually have a look. Let's give it a look-see. Let's, 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 let's put my nose where it doesn't belong. Oh god, Steam is... Oh no! Steam's having to log in. This might be a problem. God damn it, Steam. I never knew you... <laughs> I could do Rogue Legacy from the beginning. I still have to finish for Proteus. Torchlight 2. There's a bu oh, no, actually, I'm gonna s I'm gonna go to Hexen after this. Yeah. After Heretic, I'm going straight to Hexen. Um, yeah, I have a fun bunch of games. I also have Doom 3 that I haven't played in a while. Because I forgot that that's on the schedule.
I want to say the Elven Wand feels quite powerful up close because it's um, it's not strong enough to warrant sniping at a, at a at a medium distance, but at close you can just go crazy and it's like whoa. I knew there was something. There would be something around here. Look at this. I just I keep holding down the button and eventually the gargoyles just stop coming at me, bro. I there's a lot of bags of holding. I don't know why. It's a bit strange, actually. Look, it opened up another little nook and cranny. Oh, that's why it opened up another nook and or cranny. Oh, might as well use this guy. He's not so useful since we're standing near the water. And if you have any bit of intelligence with the heretic game engine, you know that the fire mace. Regardless of what kind of water you're dealing with, the bullets just won't bounce. And the bouncing is kind of how they get most of their ranged capacities. Don't have the bounce, you don't have the gun. Simple as that. Tomato, tomato. Same bags in the same cup. I don't know what the fuck that means. Look at this, I'm using my elven wand, saving ammunition all across the board. I feel like I'm playing Duke Nukem the wrong way. You totally should not play Duke Nukem hyper conservatively. It is something that you simply must learn. It is a harsh lesson, a lesson, but it's an important lesson. If if you play Duke Nukem 3D conservatively, you're essentially damning yourself. Great. It's another one of you. But at least you have a map. I hope you're enjoying the fact that I'm humiliating you with this weapon. Yeah, our liches are not as strong as I remember them. They're actually significantly weaker. It might just be that the Phoenix Staff, as a weapon, is insanely powerful. But that's something... Okay. There you go. I don't know, I think it's just that the Phoenix uh, Rod, while powerful and definitely practical in some way, it lacks the Pazawi to sort of be impressive. Like, oh no, I've got to shoot like four of these? And then when you're like with the, the crossbow, it feels like a lot less. No idea what what's supposed to betray this location of the secret, but hey, we got a ring of invisibility. Invincibility. I guess maybe the location, like like, hmm, it's like very close to this one. It must be a connection. Oh yeah, now that's all open up, isn't it? Yep. Skadoodle tomata. So, in one episode, we managed to fill up my schedule of things that I want to play as an experience. Because when you buy a game, you don't buy a CD-ROM, you don't buy a, a, a box or anything, you're not buying software, what you're buying is an experience. You're buying an investment of time to, at the end, feel some sense of satisfaction over the events that have transpired. And if you don't feel satisfied by that experience, then you bought a pretty crappy experience there, kiddo. Chum! Like, in Duke Nukem 3D, if the laser bomb's effectivity is entirely limited to that, you know what to do. So what am I even doing here? Oh, look, because of the texture, it actually tells me. Oh, great. It's it's one of those guys. Actually, let me, let me switch to a better weapon for this guy. God, fuck. Well, got all the secrets, there's always that. I think we can leave. There's no blue key or anything. 
You're like, hey! Da -da 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 Oh, it isn't even textured right. Like, oh, I can see the exit on my textured map. Like, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's the exit. Yay, yay. It's not. It's not glowing. It's not sparkling. And if it doesn't go sparkle, sparkle, you know it's not a good thing. You're dealing with a phony. Let me switch to my claw, please. Man, if only that guy in Futurama had claws instead of clamps, I'd be making that joke all day. And like, oh, but if that wasn't the exit, then what? Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I feel so silly now. <laughs> Quay, this is where the secret exit is at. Oh, yeah. Quay is a weird starting area. It's like, oh, look at this. It's an area. And it's a start! <laughs> but there's nothing going on except maybe some healing medicaments if you happen to be in a bit of a shoddy shape. Quay has a few annoying enemy placements. Uh, there's a Molotar or so that you have to deal with on easier difficulties. Remember that I played through most of these things not on uh, Bringeth Them Oneth. Which, which, one, which one's the one again? And the Yellow Bellies are at us. Oh fuck, what the- what the fuck, man? Really? Really? You're going to, out of the blue, toss a bloody lich lich at me. I do not feel like I am treated like an equilateral person. Oh man, this- this Hellstaff is a better panic weapon than the Claw, because the Claw's ammunition is significantly rarer. And it just it doesn't feel fast enough. It's like, and you're like, yeah, destroy, maim, injure. And the claw is just, but it you can you can sense that there's a delay between the shots, and that just makes it feel less powerful. So when you have this, it's go like a minigun. You're like, yeah, it's not as powerful. It lacks definitely in the department of killing in less shots. But it definitely makes up by just firing a lot. I also, why does this have tracers? Is that the Z Doom? It probably is the Z Doom engine. They're, they're, oh yes, they're gone. Now that they're gone, I can just walk around and go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Checking my watch, enjoying the weather, and checking my watch, enjoying the weather. Guy don't have a watch. I also don't have a smartphone. I do have a phone, but that's not a watch. I'm a cheating little bastard. Anyway, like, yeah, that's what's kind of suckish, because I even missed out on this book. It's a pretty nice book. Look at this, I went nuts and I still have lots of ammo. That's a, a good panic weapon, you can just fire like crazy, and you don't really have to worry about running out of precious munitions. you just like, eh, I'll find some fresh ones around the corner. Well, Papa always used to sell the finest ammunitions. Get your ammo here, freshly baked, freshly cooked, fresh off the counter. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Tell me that I am not loaded with the good stuff. We got the yellow key, so let's go do some yellow key stuff. Also known as things, things you do with a yellow key for 20 points. Um, things you do with the allocate for 20 points, I don't know. Remember that the special fire for this weapon uh, with the two Tome of Power is orientated towards low ceilings because the droplets take a long time to form and fall. Ah, well, it didn't get a hit on me. There's always that. Casually scratching my cheek. Oh, God! I forgot about the Ophidians up there. Well, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I 
I wonder, where exactly do they aim at when they're aiming at you? Like, those enemies have to have some sort of center point that, they're tar that their attack is targeted towards. I want to know what exactly they determine as the center point of the player or any enemy to begin with. I think the reason the crossbow feels faster is that you shoot and it's like out there. It's gone. Or these are just... Okay, let's count. One. 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 Yeah, that's about the same. It's close enough that I don't really care. It, it just feels faster because it's, it's... The weapon fires slower than that the shots can take to arrive. So it just feels faster. You really want to clean up those Ophidians. I think this is really the one of the shinier moments for the the special attack of the Hellstaff because they're, they're secluded, they can't go anywhere, so the droplets will essentially just tear them to pieces, and there's nowhere they can run. They're stuck in an acid rain. They're stuck in an acid rain. Cause you know people like it when you elongate things. Well, we only have one real way to go. It's a quartz flask, might I add. When I see people speedrunning, like I see more professional people, they always seem to switch between weapons rapidly. They're like, oh, I've used my rocket launcher for one to two shots, let me switch to this other weapon that I haven't used in seven hours. Maybe it's a piece of strategy that I just don't understand on a more less platonic level, but... Yeah, I'm cashing these blows like a chump. Oh! That is, Man, there's like shrapnel everywhere. Pew! I like how the splash damage doesn't trigger their uh, response. guys. Oh. You know what? Oh, this is about where the Molotar shows up. But at least they're not like Duke Nukem's big guys. Like they Oh! You get stuck under his foot, you're dead. There you go. Told you there'd be one. Just keep pummeling! Pummel! Oh. That attack is why you can never stand on a ledge close up and higher. Like, yes, he can't hit you with the fire smash or the... or the strange little charge attack. But he can definitely smash you with that in like a second or so. Ah! My head. Whew! Could have at least dropped some ammo, you jerk. Whew. Pretentious are us. Ow. Didn't expect that attack would leak through like that. Oh! I wonder, can Ophidian see through walls? <laughs> I 
Oh, joyous day. There's Ophidians everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's why you take care of them, is because they're part of some larger conglomerate. Let's pull out the zero fucks given gun. When the fire this gun, when there are zero fucks to be given. Ah, all those fivers are gonna be great. I wanted to take this one, actually. Because I think this one tackles gargoyles, especially the fire gargoyles, relatively quick. I will go for the elven wand, but I can't see them too well. And I don't really want to get torn to shreds. One consequence of using a weapon like this is you can see the shots coming, but at the same time you can't see them coming because your own projectiles start to get in the way. And since the monsters aren't affected by realistic accuracy, they need to see you. Mm, we get, kind of get a problem at some point. Man, look at all these flame orbs I'm getting. Flame on! Whew. Yeah, some saber claws, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to salvage together my health in a fashion that is most reminiscent to crying. Oh yeah, you can go down here, you're basically game like, nope, you're fucked. Go fuck yourself. Hmm. I'm full on dragon claw ammo, really? That's a one in a million fluke. Actually, this one feels faster than I thought. It just... it just feels fast. See you guys next time. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, yes! If you didn't... That looks like a trap, if anything. That looks like a trap. How about you and I settle this the old-fashioned way? That's exactly how I like to see it. The fuck? Yeah.